Hey guys, it's Matt Mick here with Lincoln Select Real Estate Group at Nebraska Realty. And uh, today I wanted to shoot a quick video and chat with you about what a seller should expect when the appraisal is happening on your home. So um, if you're uh, not aware, an appraisal is done to help the bank or the buyer establish um, that value so uh, the bank doesn't over lend on the property. So this is really important uh, when looking to sell your home because this is what keeps us from you really just listing homes at outrageous prices because at the end of the day, most buyers are gonna to have to get a loan from a bank and the bank is gonna require an appraisal to make sure that the home is worth what's being spent on it. So um, a couple points here that I wanna hit in regards to appraisals. So uh, the first thing, what are appraisers looking for, right? So appraisers, um, just like your agents, are look oftentimes looking for a lot of the same things, right? They're gonna look for you know, what condition the house is in, um, what types of features the house has is the style of the home, the location of the home, um, bedrooms, bathrooms, all of that stuff. And then what they're going to do is take your home and they're comparing it to other similar homes that have similar features to your home to determine what the value is of your home based off of other homes sales. So that's really what an appraiser is looking for and how that works. So um, one thing that we've seen a lot lately and we, we have this conversation with all of our sellers is, you know, what happens if I get an offer that is higher than what the bank will give money on the house for. And what we've been calling that is an appraisal gap. So um, it's, it's important that you speak with your agent about this um, because what can happen here is you can actually address this issue up front or before you accept an offer as opposed to addressing it later on. Um, so do know though, if an appraiser says that your home is worth less than you are offering, the bank will not give you a loan on that house unless you have some way of negotiating the price to a new price or covering that gap, which would more than likely mean coming out of pocket with cash to cover that gap. Um, and the third thing, and I get this question a lot, and I also, I've also spoken to a lot of sellers that have done this, and that's, should I have an appraisal before I put my home on the market? And honestly, um, I would be really hesitant with that. Um, you can do it, um, but again, the second that that appraiser leaves, the home value changes. And so unless you have that done like right when you sell your home, it's probably not gonna be very accurate, especially through the markets that we've seen here over the past few years where homes have been appreciating, you know, more than a percent per month. Um, also, the appraisal isn't gonna be able to be used by really anyone but you. And your real estate agent can, can get to a price that's gonna be right around where that appraiser will get their price at um, and not charge you anything to do it. So um, do know though, you cannot give that appraisal to like the bank for the buyer. Um, they just won't accept it. The bank's gonna require that they have their own appraisal go out. Um, and, uh, and do their own evaluation of the property. So guys, that's uh, you know three fun facts there about appraisals. If you have any more questions on that, uh, just slide in um, to our DMs, email us, call us. We'd love to help you with that. And of course, as always, if you're looking to sell, we would love to help you with that. Thanks guys. Hey, thanks so much for checking out our video and watching till the end. If you're looking for more content about real estate, just simply subscribe over here to the right. And if you want more information on what your home is worth, check out sellyourhomelincoln.com to get an evaluation done. And one of our listing specialists will reach out to you to help you determine that final price. Thanks again.